What is up, everyone? It is Tyler from Parallax Entertainment. And this is Raul from Parallax Entertainment, introducing to you guys our first installment of the Legion 7.2 class guides. Today we will be going a little bit of a quick guide of Guardian Druid. Now this is the most powerful tank in 7.2 so far and the previous patches. He has a large stamina pool, a uh, crazy amount of active mitigation, and very powerful CDs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. The next guides will be coming out after following this one, probably with the Retribution Paladin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this guide and learn a lot about how to play your class. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe and leave in the comment section below what class you'd like to see. Let's get right into it. Here's a quick overview of what I'll be going over in the guide. Just click on one of the ones that you're interested and if you're interested in the whole thing, just go ahead and continue watching. See you in the rest of the video. Alright, let's start off with our stat priority. Number one, we have armor. Two, we have versatility tied with mastery. Three, haste. Four, agility. And five, critical strike. Now. Number one, of course, we have our armor, which is just our biggest stat overall. Two, versatility increases the damage you do and the healing you do. And this also decreases all the damage you take. Um, tie with mastery because mastery grants increased maximum health and uh, also healing received and attack power. Um, number three, we have haste because our haste lowers the cooldown on your auto attacks and just overall all of your um your abilities which just boost your survivability overall and number four we have agility uh because agility is good and five critical strike uh increases your chance to just critical hit uh overall and also increases your dodge okay here's our artifact path as a guardian druid uh pretty much just the same exact thing as 7.1.5 the only thing that's been added in 7.2 is now the, it's not really just Paragon traits, there's multiple traits now that you can choose from, um, but it's pretty much simplistic, it's the same exact path. Just pause the video here if you want to take a look at this. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to our talents. Uh, in the level 15 category, we're going to want to go with Bristling Fair. This increases uh, the generation of rage based on damage you take for 8 seconds. Now you can also switch this up with Blood Frenzy, which um, generates 2 rage each time your thrash deals damage. Um, in our level 30 category, we're going to want to go with Guttural Roars, and this increases the radius of your Stampeding Roar by 200%. The radius of inca incapacitating roar by 100% and reduces the cooldown of your stamping roar by 50%. This is overall just a great CD for uh, large raid groups and for just an overall movement increasing CD for your whole entire raid group. Uh, this is all this was also really used a lot with Gul'dan on Mythic and on Heroic as well. Um, in our level 45 category, we're going to go with Restoration Affinity just because it's the best one in that category. Uh, it heals you for 3% of your maximum health or every 5 seconds. This is also um, increased by, I think, 50% with um, your chest legendary as a Guardian Druid. In our level 60 category, it's pretty much uh, whatever you want to go with. But usually for raised people, we'll go with Mass Entanglement or Mighty Bash. Um, I usually like Mighty Bash just because it's a good um, interrupt or CC. Um, in our level 75 category... Uh, we want to go with Galactic Guardian. Uh, your damage has a 10% chance to trigger a free Moonfire. And this Moonfire uh, cast, when you cast it, it generates 8 Rage and deals 300% increased damage. Now in our level 90 category, we're going to want to go with Guardian of the Loon. Uh, Mangle increases the duration of your next Iron Fur or Mark of Ursul by 2 seconds or the healing of your next regeneration. Frenzy regeneration by 20%. So this is a very uh, insane uh, proc that can happen pretty often actually. And in our level 100 category, we're going to want to go with either Rend and Tear or Pulverize. Um, I find that most people go with Rend and Tear. Uh, and while you're in bear form, Thrash also increases your damage dealt to the target. 
and reduces your damage taken from the target by 2% per application of thrash. So this is very OP um, during very large um, like AOE fights, say you're in a dungeon or something like that. That's why most Mythic Plus groups go with uh, bears for their uh, tank. Alright, let's get into rotation. Uh, first off, I'm going to be doing single target rotation and then I'll be doing uh, multiple target rotation and then I'll be getting into cooldown usage. Um, so let's start this off. If we have Galactic Guardian, we're going to want to be using Moonfire and whenever it procs, use Moonfire. We're going to use Mango on cooldown. We're going to use Thrash on cooldown. Um, if you have Pulverize, use Pulverize. Uh, apply and maintain Moonfire on the target and Intertwine, Swipe and Maul. Um, for extra damage and use maul not to cap on rage or use maul for extra damage if you're not uh, needing to use uh, active mitigation. Uh, so let's just uh, see this in a little bit of action. We're going to start off with our moonfire into a mangle to thrash. We've got a mangle proc so we're using mangle. We're swiping. Got a galactic guardian proc using that. Thrash. Two procs there. Using swipe. Thrash is back up. Another proc and another proc, and we're using Maul. Now, again, Maul is off the global cooldown, so we'll be using uh, in damage situation, we're gonna be using a lot of Maul, so you can pretty much just come in here and use two at the same time, like I just did right there. And let's go ahead and move on to our multiple target rotation. Alright, for our multiple target rotation is pretty much the same thing except we're going to be one keeping Moonfire up on both or multiple targets, whatever, 2 to 3, 2 to 4, whatever you're doing. Um, and we're pretty much going to be doing the same exact cooldown, so Mangle and Thrash on CD. But with this uh, multiple target rotation, we're going to be one keeping up Swipe and we're going to be using Maul a lot more as well. Um, and Thrash of course on CD and Mangle on CD and use your procs. Uh, the only difference really is just trying to keep up your Moonfire on multiple targets and using Swipe a lot more often if you're not actively tanking or taking a lot of damage. Um, so let's go ahead and move into our um, active mitigation and our cooldown usage. So for Guardian Druids, uh, our active mitigation pretty much consists of two main uh, components which will be our Iron Fur and our Market Fur. So these are uh, pretty much the active mitigations that you'll be having up uh, consistently throughout the fight. Um, Iron Fur, which increases your armor by 92% for 7.5 seconds, and you can stack it up to three times, which is insanely good for those large physical damage fights. And also, of course, Mark of Ursa, which can't be stacked, but is also very OP. It reduces magical damage taken by 30% 30, 30 for 7.5 seconds. Both these can be used at the same exact time, so you can have around usually two Iron Fur stacks and a one Mark of Ursa rolling if you are uh, very focused on your rage regeneration and you're also using bristling fur which is another good cooldown that you're going to be using throughout a fight when you're taking a lot of damage because it generates rage based on your damage taken um so let's go ahead and show you a little bit of this we're going to be charging in here getting up our rage and use an iron fur right there you see it up there this is a physical damage fight pretty much because we're going against a target dummy, so it would be easy. We'll just use another bristling fur. I'll use frenzy regeneration, which we'll get into that right now. Uh, frenzy regeneration heals you for 50% of all damage taken in the last five seconds. However, because of our, um, let me show you real quick, because of our artifact weapon, it increases our healing done by frenzy regeneration by 15% which makes it 65% of the damage you just took over five seconds and three seconds you gain it back so uh, this is very OP for those large hitting fights um, so let's go ahead and get into our uh, big uh, damage reduction CDs uh, first our smaller one is bark skin and this is a pretty long one but it does take uh, away 20% uh, of the damage you take for 13.5 seconds. Now pretty much our shorter uh, version of this cooldown is survival instincts, but it's also you reduce all damage you take by 63% for 6 seconds, and it has two charges with a 4 minute recharge time. Um, another one of our CDs, which is our artifact weapon, is uh, Rage of the Sleeper. 
this unleashes Ursoc and prevents 25% of all damage you take and reflecting 82k nature damage back at your attacker. So it's a good um, damage CD and survival CD. And um, that is pretty much it for our active mitigation and CDs for our Guardian Druid. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this Guardian Druid 7.2 guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you guys would like to see anything changed up, just let us know in the comments below and also recommend what classes you'd like to see. Now, also make sure to hit a like and subscribe and make sure to hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you know when our next guide comes out for possibly your favorite class. This is Parallax and Parallax Tyler and we'll see you guys in the next one.